Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Laura. I'm Hanna. And today we are going to crush hot and cold stuff. And to be exact, different metals. We are going to test iron, steel and aluminium. Aluminium. And we already tested the concept yesterday <laughs> with kettle bell. That was a mistake. Uh, we broke our thousand euro filming light. Or it's still like usable, but it's like somebody else would say that's broken. To avoid any more broken stuff, I made this shield for Bob and put cameras, rest of the cameras outside. We don't want to break any more stuff. Let's try this also as a room temperature, as a control piece. And then after that, we have some shit on the dry ice that we are going to try next. I'm so scared that the main camera is outdoors. Not about this, but the kettlebell that is going to come soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, around 50 tons. Pick it up. Okay, that wasn't very dramatic, but I think the uh, thick as aluminium tube is going to explode, so. Let's go throw that in. We have never crushed anything like this. Check yeah. how thick it is. Yeah, it's really thick. I think this is going to be like 200 tons or something like that. Oh. And check out, we have guests here. It's Jukka and Lauri from our animation startup, Fuantakonis Productions. Guys are here to crush some nightmares from our animation series, Dream Heroes. Lauri is really, really good making play dude characters. And today we're going to deal with them. But first is aluminium tube. And this is Kai's first time seeing like shit go wrong in the bunker. So yeah. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Let's see. I think this is like 150 ton and then it explodes. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Does it look good? Uh -oh. That's 200 tons. Wow. 220. Wow. Okay. Wow. It's ready. It's really. I thought that it's going to explode. Holy shit. <laughs> it's it's making the like similar pattern that is on hand grenade, like ah. the like ready-made shrapnel here. I think we're going to take one out of the dry ice and then it's going to explode. Ooh. Here it comes. Ice cold aluminium. Dry ice cold. Dry ice cold aluminium. I'm going to go with the full speed so it doesn't have time to warm up. Yeah, that time to think. Okay. Uh. Uh oh. Uy. It's harder. It's harder. <gasps> but now it warmed up. Let's see how, how hot it got. Is it like already over zero? And here is thermal camera picture. I'm not sure how accurate this is. Metals are quite reflective on thermal. And also it's not calibrated for especially for metals. So it might be slightly off. It's 16 degrees. You can touch it. Yeah, it's, it's not cold anymore. Now we are going to... We are going to just do it. Okay. That's cold ball. Oh my god. This is going to definitely explode. Oh my god, it's really brittle. Yeah. Oh! That, <laughs> Not <at> all. <laughs> that, that went. Oh no. That was a surprise. <laughs> Let's see if we, did we broke anything. 
Ah, uh, all the lights are okay. Bob is fine. Yeah, it no, smells I... like burnt rubber. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it's cold still. Oh. That didn't warm up. Oh. It it hit there. There oh, is like. Oh, there is a. Wow. There is a good dance on the acoustic panel on the yeah. corner. Oi, oi, yeah. oi. Yeah, that came straight at us. Uh, the all all the nice things that happened there. Wow. But the, the, the big one hit here and then it ricocheted somewhere else. Yeah. Look, these are starting to look a bit cold. Cold. <laughs> Yeah, it's somewhere here, but uh, but all the lights are good, all the cameras are good, and nobody died. So great success. And since this has some paint, the thermal works much better, and I think this might be probably quite accurate from the dry ice. And the camera survived, which is great. Okay, and then the like mundane steel pipe. Yes. Yes. Close the door. Oh, that was over hand. So the steel and iron were both slightly stronger. I don't want to make any guesses about the aluminium. It was so like mushmashy, hard to say how strong it was. And the thermal camera shows that the steel really heats up when you crush it. Uh, it gets like almost like 70 degrees from minus 50. So that's a huge difference. But you, you do a lot of work with the press there. Minus 12. Didn't got so hot than the aluminium. Yeah, but the kettlebell was definitely start of the show. Yeah, it delivered. Okay, we have surprise here. Come have a look. Do, 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 do. It's a dangerous play do creature. And this guy is from our animation series. It's a nightmare. Uh, the animation series about it's about dealing nightmares. What is this guy? Is it like it's a blanket thief? Blanket thief. It's a. It's a. Every ah. time it makes you cold and uh, it steals your blanket in the, in the night. So everybody knows that creature. That's Hanna know this. Yeah, piece. I know really badly that. Well, it, it 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 seems to be really cold. So. Yeah, it's really annoying. So we must deal with. Yeah, it. we definitely must must deal with this one. And uh, it's it's not a play do animation. It's like hand-drawn, like anime style animation. Looks really nice. It has like old school vibe in, into it. So if you like that type of stuff, there's a link down in the description. It's available on all like short form platforms, including YouTube shorts. But now we are going to deal with this extremely dangerous blanket thief. And I messed it up and didn't turn the camera on for that one. But here is a couple other monsters from the series. So go check out, we have one long form YouTube video with the first five minutes of the series and then if you wanna pinch watch the rest, it's available as YouTube shorts already on the same channel. Link is down in description as I said. Oh, and now when we have dealt with the monsters, it's time to bring in the hot steel. And it took a long time to warm up the uh, kettlebell and we didn't get it red hot, but it's, it's, it's quite hot. It's reddish on some parts. Holy shit, this is stupid. This is probably the most dangerous thing that we have done. Yeah, so this is so stupid. Oh my so god, this is so it's stupid. It's going to be deadly hot and flying really fast. So, okay. two times. <coughs> oh, I, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Ooh. medium speed. I, I don't even want to watch. Oh dear. Okay, here it goes. Oh, <laughs> okay, I think the thermal camera, USB extension cord, that's going to get on fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope that it didn't burn through. Oh dear. No, it did. I think it didn't. 
Uh, it said that there is some burn protection mode on the camera. Ah. I also forgot to switch to high temperature setting on the camera. Oh dear. But I can do it now. Yeah. Okay, I think it's as hot as it's going to ever get. Holy shit! Okay. Okay, does it show? Let's see. It's 540 degrees at the moment, so it's pretty hot. I didn't even like know that there's like temperature protection on thermal camera, but good thing to have. <laughs> <laughs> That's like 200 euro cheap Chinese camera, so it's quite advanced for the money. Okay, it's... Uh, that shows 300 degrees, I'm not sure it's like right. Let's close the door. Close the door. I'm going to predict that it's going to be a pancake. It feels like pancake. Okay, here it goes. Oh, yeah. nice. It's my play <laughs> I, I need to hammer it away. It's uh, a there press is... extension now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aluminium extension. It's hot. <laughs> it's too hot. I think it's around 500 because it uh, starts to turn into blue, bluish. Bluish. Yeah, it was an interesting video. The cold things are usually a bit stronger if they're not too stupidly cold, like from nitrogen. We could do video also with that. And the heat makes things softer, especially the aluminium. This was really, really soft. Balls was a bit hard to measure because they exploded when like normal, normal temperature or cold. And then the steel, this was like slightly softer when it was around 400 degrees. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.